This week on We Dig History. All right, guys, out here with Chris, and uh, looks like we might have a large copper down there in the hole. Oh yeah, look at that. Told you. We just saw this huge bee's nest on this house. Well, what a button, I don't know what it is. <gasps> look oh at that. Oh my God. All right, guys, this is a great moment. A great moment in the history of dogs. <laughs> All right, Don might have silver. He's not sure, he said. Right oh, it's got to be silver. All right, guys, out here with Chris. And uh, looks like we might have a large copper down there in the hole. Obviously, we haven't looked at it yet. So let's see what we got. Oh yeah, that's a large scent. It's got to be, or it might even be a King George. That's old. What is that? Drape bus, maybe? Huh. It's. It looks like it's either going to be a, a King George or a drape bus. That's the shape. So, we'll get back to you on what it is. Cool. Congrats, man. Nice. Alright guys, I just got a banging signal. And this sandy soil, like just like three inches down, and there's a copper, number 28 on the year, and it's got a nice green patina. Whatever this is is gonna look good, I think, because even if it's worn, because it's on a hillside and in sandy soil, so I should be able to get some detail off of this. Hold on a second. gonna be a looks to be a King George I think oh yeah look at that told you <laughs> yeah that's gonna come out nice Woo I'll take it she's a beaut King George a second all right guys we'll be back Okay guys, so we were just driving by this house, and it's abandoned, and then we just saw this huge bee's nest on this house. Yeah, this is getting pretty close for my comfort, but we'll zoom in on it. They're going in and out. I think those are those black and white bees, the big ones, but that's crazy. And it's real cold out. It's probably about 50 degrees, so they're not going to be real active right now. This one came out right there. That's cool. Just wanted to show you guys. We'll be back. Look at this button that Relic Rage has dug. This is unbelievable. What a button. I don't know what it is. <gasps> Look oh at my that. Oh, God. <laughs> it's got incredible detail. Full shank. Yeah, little we'll, concave or whatever you want. What kind of signal? Clear 72. And, oh. Wow. That is a beautiful button. That's going to clean up wonderful. And we'll show you what it says. Don't. There's do words. No, I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah. Yeah, don't tumble this. Or do you have something to put that in? Oh, yeah. I found it. Yeah. The All right, guys. We'll be back and show it to you. Clean it up. Oh Yeah, so that was a really good button, obviously. So, uh, kudos to you, Ray. You guys have any kabathier? Ooh, it's a lady. 
Yee, that is a fine lady. She's scratching herself. That is nice. So anyway, we'll be back with some more stuff. Alright guys, looks like this is going to be a good yard. Right after Ray dug that button, I just got a mark. So cool. 41, we'll be back. All right, guys, this is a great moment. A great moment in the history of Dawn. <laughs> Digging Dawn has found an Indian head penny and has broken his fineless streak. 19, 1900 or 1901, I think. Great, it looks in good shape, too. Very nice. Awesome. There we go. You're on board. We all have fines today, so we can uh, go home happy. Yep. <laughs> Every one of us. <laughs> Every one of us. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll be back. All right, Ray just got a silver quarter. And it's a standing liberty. Yes, does it have a date? No, I don't think so. Oh, boy. Well, it is par for the course. It's still a standing. Cool. We'll be back with some more, hopefully. Oh. Nope. Anything else? <laughs> Let's get this live. It might be. If there's not, we'll cut it out. Probably a nail. Probably. <laughs> yeah. You know how that goes. No silver, huh? Yep. <laughs> there it is. All right, we'll be back. All right, Don might have silver. He's not sure, he said. Right there. Oh, it's got to be silver, right? Sure looks like it, doesn't it? Looks like you might have scratched. Well, I don't know. You might, ready? Might not be, but check. Is it? Yes, it is. It's, it's a, a barber. barber! Yeah! Awesome. That's definitely silver. It's worn, but it's a barber. It very is. Good. I'm very 1901, happy. 1901, I think, or four. Yeah, good job, man. She got a mint mark. We'll clean it up later. All right, we'll be back. Excellent. Yes. All right, Dawn just found this really cool antique motorcycle. Metal motorcycle. That's awesome. It's old. Very nice. All right, we'll show it to you cleaned up. All right, Ray just got this 1904 Indian head penny. Cool. Yeah, that lady is cool. Yeah, the lady's really nice. We just showed her uh, what we've got so far. She was out here with us, but very nice. We'll be back hopefully with some more stuff. All right, just dug this little flat button with a floral design on it. It's cool. Or a snowflake or something. I'll take it. I'll be back. All right, just got a cool Chinese cash coin. I haven't dug one of these for a while. Nice. That's cool. Alright. Hopefully there's more. Alright, this is a surprise. I just dug my second fatty Indian of this yard. And this was not a a nickel fatty Indian signal at all. I thought this was going to be silver. It was ringing really high. Maybe there's something in with it. 
We'll recheck the hole and get back to you, but uh, sweet. Okay, I got a coin. I think it's another Indian. Yep. Sweet. 1880. This one's a good one. It's going to clean up nice. Cool. Alright, we'll be back. Alright, just dug this nice pattern button. Not sure exactly what that is on there, but looks pretty cool. And uh, full shank on the back, bent a little bit. Yeah, look how old That's that cool. is, you can tell. Yep, it it's is. Thick. Pretty sweet. We got some nice stuff from this yard. We're about to move on, but hey, what a good yard. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, just got a 1920 uh, Buffalo. Got a date on it. That's cool. We'll be back. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you a couple of finds uh, that I made um, the other day. Uh, it was before I went into work, um, so I didn't film them. But this uh, button's beautiful. I love it. It says uh, best quality on the bottom. And then it's got that insignia, that uh, symbol again, um, with the three feathers. Um, Prince of Wales, whatever you want to call it, symbol. Um, so, could be military, I don't know. Sorry about my fingernails, they're a mess. But yeah, really nice gold gilt on there. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, also, I grabbed this V nickel from a uh, cellar hole. Same cellar hole as I just got that, that button I just showed you. There we go. It's in really good shape for a V nickel. Back's a little crusty, but front's beautiful, $18.99. And uh, so that's basically the only two good things I got the other day, so I'll be back.